Why, hello there, and welcome to the Color Her Fierce podcast. My name is Jazlette Wondrick. I'm your the hostess with the mostest, the lady that'll be coloring your day fierce. I'm a bachelor's of science major, media communications at Full Sail University. And today I will be featuring on our webisode an interview that was conducted via email previously with the wonderful Corey Sennett. He was very helpful and it was a really great interview. So I'll be featuring this all throughout the webisode. All questions and all responses will be read and narrated by me. So, with that being said, let's jump right on in. Let's not wait. <laughs> let's be fierce. Question one. What do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? The role of visual arts in society today is just a big, if not bigger than in the past. In the industry of media communication, a lot of what we do is visual, whether it's graphic, design, videos, advertisement, commercials, photography, or anything else. People are always looking for something that stands out to the eye. With the use of internet, social media, and televisions, the role of visual arts in media communications is to communicate with the world. Sometimes it's meant to try and advertise something, other times it's meant to spread a message, but whatever the case, visual arts come in play. Question 2. New communication and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this has a positive or negative influence on your field slash industry? Can you provide an example? I believe that the advancements in media technology and communications are extremely crucial to the success of the media communications industry. In my opinion, these things have had a hugely positive influence on my media field. The first word in media communications is media, and as media continues to grow and update, so does the media communications field. We need the media and the internet to create and to share our stories. And with technology becoming so easy and hands-on for everyone, it widens our range immensely. Question 3. What images are frequently repeated throughout your industry? I feel that it's hard to say what specific images are frequently repeated in my industry because... It is ever-changing and ever-growing. People come up with new things every day and will continue to do so. In this industry, it is about coming up with new and fresh ideas to keep moving forward, not looking back on past images. Question 4. What is one of your favorite visual artists and slash or what is your favorite style of visual art? To be honest, I don't really have a favorite visual artist. I find different things I like in different works, and I find it hard to pick one certain favorite. Also, when I look at visual art, I usually am so focused on the art itself that I don't think about who may have created it. I know it isn't necessarily the best way to go about things, but I guess I haven't really paid much attention to visual artists, just the art itself. If I had to choose a favorite style of visual art, I would honestly say video game design. I know this is probably a unique and out there answer but I play a lot of video games and the art really stands out to me. Diablo the second is one of my favorite games of all time and features dark and morbid imageries used to set the theme and setting for what the player is immersed in. The graphics are not amazing as the game was released in 1999. However, the art itself captured me as a kid and still does to this day. I am also a big fan of dark imagery, and I think that Diablo is a great example. Question 5. Has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? 
Although I am not extremely familiar with specifics about famous artists or famous artworks, just seeing them has influenced my creative process. Everyone is an artist in their own way, and that means everyone has their own creative style. That is what makes art so interesting. Certain styles appeal to different people, and not everyone is going to love one certain design. I guess the main thing I've gotten out of looking at famous artwork and just artwork in general is that my creative process might be completely different than others, but it doesn't mean it's wrong. Just from being in media communications field, I have gotten a better appreciation for art, and when I say art, I don't just mean drawing and paintings, I mean all forms of visual art. I mainly do video work, and I think that videos are just as much art as paintings. I do a lot of filming and editing, and I do get ideas from things I've seen before. However, I know that famous artists had to make chances and follow their creative process to get to where they ended up. I've been influenced by this thought and will continue to express myself, but keep an open mind for advice. Thank you for watching my podcast, and I hope it was very interesting as well as entertaining. And a special thanks to Corey Sennett for taking the time out and for a wonderful interview. <laughs> Please keep your eyes peeled, open, and ready for the next post of Color Her Fierce Podcast and Webisode. Once again, I am Jazlette Wondrick, Bachelor of Science, Media Communications major at Full Sail University, and as well as the lady that's coloring your day, Fierce Honey. Yes, <laughs> as well as I hope that you have a great night and thank you for your time once again. Have a nice day.